It's really important that Scotland plays its part in this campaign. We're calling for action at the G8, uh, we're calling for action, for action from the UK government. There's also loads of things that people in Scotland can do, and particularly this parliament behind me, Holyrood, can do about it. Statistics like that uh, uh, beggar the imagination and also must grab the, the, the heart. The idea that a child could be going to bed hungry is just it's such a basic need. I can't imagine what it would be like if my kids, if my family were without food when they went to bed at night. Lots of people in Scotland feel a real injustice when you hear that one in eight people across the world go to bed hungry. Well, of course it should, and I think across our communities there are people who understand that, who want to make a difference in their own communities, but they also recognise they look beyond their own borders. There should be substantial contributions, both financially but also educationally, so that everybody in Scotland, not just politicians, but everybody takes part in the campaign. Scotland can be proud of our contribution. Uh, we try to do our bit, both as individuals and as a government. We've doubled our international aid budget. We've set up the world's first developed country climate justice fund. But we can also help through education too and, and help teach young people about some of the inequalities in our world and, and how we can help to tackle it. We will. We will support the F campaign because it's a good campaign. I think it's a positive thing that could make a difference. The F campaign is spot on and we'll be giving it huge consideration and supporting it. We'll be supporting using the International Development Fund at the Scottish Parliament to help people in poorer nations around the world. Absolutely, and wherever we are represented, we will try to make sure that the needs of the hungriest people, the poorest people across the world, are at the front of political leaders' considerations. The kind of thing that Scotland could do right now to support this campaign is to, to increase the support given to those communities suffering from the effects of, of climate change. We can also use our, our buying power, the way in which we spend public money in Scotland, to favour those companies that do things like pay their fair taxes in developing countries. And we can also hold a global land hearing here in Scotland to draw upon our experiences of the Highland Clearances, which were early examples of, of, of land grabbing, if you like, because that's a real problem for, for many people in developing countries right now. For those people keen to find out more about what we can do in Scotland, go to www.enoughfoodif.org forward slash Scotland.